Thomas the tank engine had been working in the coal yards all day. The little blue engine was covered in coal dust. We can't clean you up tonight, Thomas, said his driver. There's a problem with the hose pipe. Bother, said Thomas. A bath would make me feel much better. The others are sure to say I look silly. But the engines were too busy arguing to notice Thomas. James was talking loudest of all. I deserve a new coat of paint. The fat controller says I'm the pride of the line and... Rubbish, huffed Henry. We're all the pride of the line. It's been like this all day, confided Percy to Thomas. James is getting a new coat of paint and won't stop boasting about it. Why, James? I'm the one who needs a new coat. Look at me. I'd rather not, retorted James. You're not a pleasant sight and wouldn't understand the needs of a really important engine. Thomas was fuming. Next morning, as James was being repainted, Henry had an accident. If you can't push trucks properly, Henry, why not talk to a tree instead? You know how much you like the forest. As a matter of fact, Bossy Boiler, the Fat Controller is inspecting the island for trees that are too close to the line. He's worried they might cause trouble. Pa! laughed James. If I came upon a tree, I'd just push it aside. Really? replied Henry. Soon James was showing off his paintwork. Make way for an important engine! You wouldn't feel important if one of these trees crashed on you. You'd feel hurt, reproached Percy. Rubbish! It wouldn't dare! You should be careful, James. Trees can be just as powerful as engines, advised Terence. Pa! snorted James. Now excuse me, the fat controller needs me to pull the express. And he huffed away. But James was wrong. You must go to the yards and collect an important goods train, James. It's heavy, so be careful, said the fat controller. But, sir, I've just been repainted. Can't Thomas or Percy do it? They're dirty and like working with trucks. Really useful engines don't argue. So James didn't. By the time he arrived at the yards, the weather had changed for the worse. Your colour's nice, James. Pity about your face, though, said a truck. <laughs> James ignored them and set off. Soon, they came to a hill and his driver knew that they were in for a difficult time. An old tree close to the track was being blown by the strong winds and rain had weakened the slope. All of a sudden, the tree moved. James go away but of course the tree couldn't James tried to reverse away from the tree but his train was too heavy then he heard a whistle it's Thomas called his driver James felt embarrassed and worried that Thomas would laugh at him but Thomas didn't he knew that this was no time for teasing Beep, beep. I'm ready, whistled Thomas. So am I, James replied. As ready as I'll ever be. They were just in time. Later, James spoke to Thomas. Percy and Terence were right to warn me, he said. Thank you for rescuing me, Thomas. Oh, that's all right. We engines must pull together whatever the weather. Just then, Edward bustled in. The fat controller thinks you're both brave engines. Thomas, you're going to have a new coat of paint. And James, the fat controller, says that tomorrow you'll pull the special express. Everyone was very happy.